Wow, here's a new one for you. You might have thought of this on your own, but um, this is Think About It. Have you ever heard of that channel? I've shared a couple of his videos, uh, maybe more than a couple, but it's been a while. Well, thanks to Alan Lawrence for sending me this in the email. The title of this video is, Could This Be the Way It's All Being Done? Now, what are they talking about? How we catch COVID-19. I want to play for you just a little bit of the very end. All right, listen up. And of choir members in Washington State who took precautions during a rehearsal. Oh, I backed it up a little too far, but it's coming up right after this. WHO officials have acknowledged that the virus can be transmitted through aerosols, but they say that occurs only during a medical procedure like intubation. CDC officials have still not responded to multiple requests for comment. What if? What if the way this planned pandemic is actually being spread is by jet aircraft right over our heads? What if the globalists and Luciferian overlords who have planned this for decades can keep spraying us with whatever amount in whatever area of the earth they want to? A never-ending supply of more coronaviruses until we give in to the vaccine. And what if no mask, no social distancing, and no self-isolation can ever protect us from what they spray on us from the skies? And in the meantime, they're able to tell people of faith that they have to wear masks and that even if they go to church, they cannot sing. Everything we see going on in this world right now points to the very fact that we're in the last of the last times. If you don't know Jesus Christ right now as your Lord and your Savior, there's a link in the description box below if you'd like to know and have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Click on that link where I lead you in a simple prayer to receive Jesus. Think about it. Uh, <clears throat> very plausible. You know, they show uh, about halfway through, he shows a clip from the Alex Jones show where he received a video from a whistleblower where they were talking about how they're counting the COVID numbers since the middle of May. They showed how one person tested positive and had the symptoms. Then they added 15 or in some cases they would actually, okay, who have you been in contact with and for so long? Maybe there was parents. Maybe there was uh, friends, a uh, store lady. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I went to this other store and, and then there, so I was in contact with the clerk there and anyway would add up to somewhere between 10 and 17 people so this the one I was kind of confused about this because first they said they just automatically added 15 or at least that's the way I'm remembering it but then they said something about adding up exactly who they said they came in contact with so then that is why the numbers since I didn't realize my hair was messed up. That's all right. Um, since the middle of May or even sooner, they've been counting everybody they came in contact with as COVID cases. And every time I get Israel AM, the very first line they're talking about how many more COVID cases they've added in over there in Israel, a small country as that is. And I actually typed a, a reply back. I don't know if it, I didn't get a thing back saying this is a no reply kind of a letter, whatever. I said, 
it sounds like uh, sounds like they're inflating their numbers too, like they are here in the states. Because I know they're inflating them. I just didn't know how, what what formula they were using, or or what was it? False positive tests. I didn't know. But that's so now we know know why they're adding everybody you come in contact with or just adding 15 maybe it depends on the hospital or the state I don't know but now they're saying uh, he added in the beginning of this how a lot of this is political how now that the numbers are jumping way up supposedly and inaccurately it's being blamed on Trump. <laughs> you know, when it's the mayor or the governor that gets to rule how their city or their state has to do it. They get to decide whether we get to go to church or not. They get to decide whether... Uh, they get to open Walmart outdoor theaters or not. And you can bet they probably all will. Why? Because they're all in on it together. The governors are not going to go against the New World Order system. I mean, they may act like it, so it's not so obvious. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Could this be the way it's all being done? Is it chemtrailed? It's very possible. And then they have us wearing masks, knowing they're not going to help. Microscopic particles of a of a, a bio weapon, a bio a weaponized biological agent coming from a thousand miles up or however far up they fly can't be that high up anyway they're just floating around out there it's, you know how come I don't have it I have other I have other uh, health problems. I don't know. I have not seen very many uh, chemtrails around here lately. Why here? How about your area? Let me know. Are you in an area that's got a lot of chem, um, chemtrails still? And cases going up, up, up? Hmm. Let us know in the comments. Okay. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.